Casey, it's Monday. Firstly, I just want to say that I'm happy to be back after a two week hiatus because I didn't have internet. Thankfully that's all fixed now and we're back. Secondly, our theme this week are the Oscars because they were last night. I thought they were amazing. Anne Hathaway and James Franco did a pretty good job hosting. Although, I have to admit that Anne Hathaway kind of outshone James Franco quite a bit. So, moving on from that, um, I thought it was really cute. <laughs> when Kirk Douglas came out, I was quite I was still blown away. He's so charismatic and he was just adorable. And he was really fun presenting the award for Best Supporting Actress. Poor Melissa Leo for dropping the F-bomb like that, although I have to admit I found it very amusing. <laughs> I really loved getting to see Kevin Bradnell, Eli Wallach, and Francis Ford Coppola get their honorary Oscars. It actually brought tears to my eyes when I saw their reactions in the curtain rows. It was just amazing, an amazing moment. Uh, Russell Brand and Helen Mirren presenting the award for Best Foreign Language Film was really, really funny. Um, <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. I also loved getting to see Tom Hooper win for Best Director for The King's Speech. Um, his acceptance speech for the Oscar was really cute, and um, yeah, I was just really happy for him that he got it. The King's Speech is probably one of my favorite films out of the entire year, and it really deserved all of the Oscars it got, and um, yeah, so I was really happy for him when he got the award. I also really loved seeing Natalie Portman win an Oscar for her performance on The Black Swan um, for actress in a leading role. She was really cute as well and um, I was just really happy for her because she really really deserves it. She's a brilliant actress and I was ecstatic when Colin Firth won for his performance in The King's Speech for actor in a leading role. Uh, he definitely deserved it. He did a brilliant brilliant job in that film um, and yeah his speech was probably my favorite speech of the evening just because um, he was he was hilarious. Uh, by far though, I think my favorite moment was the King's Speech winning for Best Film of the Year because of my reaction uh, is when I realized how actually inspiring the film was to me and how much I actually really, really loved that film. How, how it actually held a, like a special place in my heart, I guess, as corny as it sounds, because when they announced that The King's Speech won, I literally was so thrilled for them that I threw my laptop aside and I stood up clapping with everyone else. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna read out a list of the winners. I get to talk about the Oscars again on Friday. I will, on Friday, go over a few more of my favorite moments that happened. Best picture of The King's Speech. Best Actor, Colin Firth in The King's Speech. For Best Actress, Natalie Portman in The Black Swan. For Best Supporting Actor, Christian Bale in The Fighter. For Best Supporting Actress, Melissa Leo in The Fighter. For Best Director, Tom Hooper, The King's Speech. For Best Original Screenplay, The King's Speech. For Best Adapted Screenplay, The Social Network. Best Animated Film, Toy Story 3. Best Foreign Language Film, In a Better World, Denmark. Best Art Direction, Alice in Wonderland, Cinematography, Inception, Costume Design, Alice in Wonderland, Editing, The Social Network, Sound Mixing, Inception, Sound Editing, Inception, Original Score, The Social Network, and Original Song, We Belong Together for Toy Story 3 by Randy Newman. This week, I am going to challenge you because of the Oscars that just passed, I am going to challenge you to make out a list of maybe your top three favorite films and uh, kind of just say something a bit about why it's one of your favorite films. And I also challenge you to reenact one of the parts from one of the three films that you are going to talk about. Um, so have fun and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye!